So here we are going to see how to use MATLAB as a calculator for a simple example of uh, Lagrange multipliers. So here what we are doing is that we are going to find maxima and minima for this function subject to this constraint. So remember the when we work it out by hand, what we do is that we use the constraint to define another function g x y z by just by shifting this to the uh, left actually just by taking the left hand side of this and then since these two are going to be parallel we are just going to solve it for this Lagrangian parameter lambda and we are going to solve the equation between the system given by these equations and g equals zero and then compare the values of f at the solution points and declare the highest one as max lowest one as min if they exist okay so first I will just give credit that I used these uh, very simple commands because of this uh, fabulous discussion that I read here. Uh, I shall post the link in the, uh, in the description window. So first we notice that we have x, y, z and this lambda as the variables here. So we will define those symbols lambda. And then what I would do is that I shall create the two functions f and g as shown right here. This is our f and this is g. So I wrote those, those two functions down there. And now we have to solve for this. So let's create a new function. For example, we are creating this uh, uh, l function as f minus lambda g. And instead of using the gradient function, I, I, I like their style that is uh, we just go for the partial derivatives. So for the gradient of L, what we are, all that we have is that we just calculate the partial derivatives of uh, this function that we formed and we set all three of them equal to zero. And of course, then we have another one to solve that is G equals zero. So what we are going to do is that we are going to ask it to take a system and in which what we have is we got these three equations and the fourth equation is the equation the constraint that is g equals zero and then we are going to look at the solutions that is uh, we are going to ask it to give us the real valued solutions of we are, we are calling the solutions, you know, just we just added a letter S just to stress that they're solutions and we are asking it to solve these system of four equations and we are asking for the real solutions. All right. And uh, then as you know, as I did before, um, I am just going to say that, you know, I mean, I wrote this as a function of x, y, z because that's where we are going to evaluate these guys. And uh, then uh, once I obtain these values, let's see, we'll get a bunch of values. Let me show you the output here. Uh, there are lots of them. Okay, so you should read it. I am old, so uh, I just generally don't go for the future additions. All right, so there is a lot here. So what we will do is that we will give MATLAB the task of figuring this all out. That is what we will say is that find the min and max of the F value among the those among those values that we were asked to do. And uh, so once we press control enter, yeah, it tells us that the minimum value is one and the maximum value is the square root of three. And you can read from here the points at which they occur. All right.